Hello Year 2 and welcome to your guided reading session. Uh, the book is called Poles Apart that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, we are learning to infer, which means that we're looking for clues in the text to help us answer some questions. So it says use the clues in the text to unpack hidden meanings, use your background knowledge to fill in any gaps and combine your clues and build connections. OK, so we're going to build on the things that we learn in here with the things that you probably already know um, to help us. So here we go. I wonder whose hat that could be. Poles apart. As everyone knows, penguins are found at the South Pole and never at the North Pole. At least not until the day. The Pilchard Browns got lost on their way to a picnic. Mr Pilchard Brown was in charge of the map. He told everyone to turn right at the snowman, which was wrong. Now here they all were on the other side of the world, Mr and Mr, Mr. and Mrs Pilchard Brown, Peaky, Poots and Pog. Drifting towards an enormous furry white something. I'll just show you. <laughs> so we know what that is. Is it a lion? Is it a tiger? Asked Peaky and Poops. Is it a picnic blanket? Asked Pog. The enormous something looked them up and down. He had never seen anything like the Pilcher Browns before. I'm Mr White, he said. I'm a polar bear and you are? Parrots, said Peaky and Poops. Pork pies, said Pog. We're penguins, said Mrs Pilchard Brown. What are you doing here, wondered Mr White. This is where polar bears live, not penguins. We're going to a picnic at the South Pole, said Pog. This is the North Pole, my friends, said Mr White. The South Pole is 12,430 miles that way. Ooh. So I was a few miles out, shrugged Mr Pilcher Brown. Anyone can make a mistake. Don't think of it as a mistake, said Mr White. Think of it as a big adventure. I've often dreamt of being the first polar bear to reach the South Pole. Mummy says we should always follow our dreams, says Peaky. Daddy says we should always follow him, said Poots. Lead the way, Mr White, said Mr Pilcher Brown. The penguins followed Mr. White over land and sea. Yeek, said Pookie. Whoa, said Poots. Can we have our picnic now, said Pog. But it wasn't the best spot. So they followed Mr. White all the way to America. Howdy, said Mr. Pilcher Brown. Busy, said Peaky. Buzzing, said Poots. I wonder if any of you have ever been to America before. Can we have a picnic, said Pog. <sighs> Not now, dear, said Mrs Pilcher Brown. America was awesome, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr White all the way to... Oh, can you tell where that is? <laughs> England! How do you do, said Mr Pilchard Brown. Mm, grey, said Peaky. Grand, said Poots. Can we have our picnic, said Pog. Not now, dear, said Mrs Pilchard Brown. England was charming, but it wasn't home. They followed, so they followed Mr White all the way to... Oh, I wonder if you know where this is. Italy. Ciao, said Mr Pilchard Brown. Wet, said Peaky. Wonderful, said Poots. I need a wee, said Pog. Oh, uh, not in there, dear, said Mr. Pilchard, Mrs Pilchard Brown. <laughs> Italy was magnifical, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr White all the way to... Oh, can you work out where they might be now? I'll show you this picture here, look. Might give you a clue. India. 
Namaste, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Hot, said Peaky. Huge, said Poots. Put the python down, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. <laughs> India was dazzling, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... I wonder where you think that could be. You guessed it, Australia. Good day, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Faster, said Peaky. Fun, said Poots. Can we have our picnic now, said Pog. Soon, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. Australia was bonza, but it still wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White. Over the land and over the sea, on and on they went. But of all the wonderful places in the world, there was no place like home. Are we nearly there yet? said Peaky Poots and Pog. It's not far now, said Mr White. And they followed him left, right, left, right, all the way home. Please stay, Mr White, said Peaky and Poots. You can share our picnic, said Pog. So Mr White stayed and for a while he was happy. Do you think a polar bear would want to stay at the South Pole for very long? But the South Pole wasn't his home. He was a polar bear and polar bears don't live there. Which is why he said goodbye and walked 12,430 miles all the way back to... Where's he got to go back to? The North Pole, where he belonged. He'd followed his wildest dream and had the best adventure. Even so, he was sad to think that he would never see a penguin again. But to Mr White's delight... Whose hat is that? Can you remember? He did. Hello, how did you get there? He said. Where is your family? Here we are, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. S Mr. Yeah, someone put my egg in your hat, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. Peaky and Poots pointed at Pog. Can we have our picnic now, he said. And although the North Pole isn't home to penguins, Mr White was always happy to see friends. Welcome back, he said. <laughs> Let's see if you can now have a go answering your questions all about that story.